Welcome to this tutorial on securing the Grub bootloader with a password. Grub is a critical component in Linux systems responsible for managing the boot process. Securing Grub with a password prevents unauthorized access to boot parameters and root level changes, like resetting the root password, thus ensuring better system security. In this guide, we'll show you how to set a secure password for Grub to enforce this protection. Let's get started. To generate a secure password for Grub, start by creating a hashed password that Grub will use for authentication. Open a terminal and run the command sudo grub mkpasswd pbkdf2. You'll be prompted to enter and confirm a password. Once done, the command will output a hashed version of your password, which will look something like this. Copy the entire hash as it will be needed in the next step. This ensures the password you set is securely stored and ready for grub configuration. To update the grub configuration with the new password, you'll need to modify the custom grub settings file. You can either directly use the nano text editor to edit the file or prepare the configuration using another editor and paste it into nano as shown in this example. Add the following lines to the file, replacing your username with your desired username and generated hash with the hashed password you generated in the previous step. For example, set super users equal sign Linux config and second line will read password underscore pbkdf2 Linux config followed by the generated hash in previous step. Note, it looked like we have three lines here, but there are actually only two. Now we need to paste the configuration into grub's 40 underscore custom configuration file. Open the file using the nano text editor with the following command, sudo nano forward slash etc forward slash grub d40 underscore custom. After pasting the configuration, save the file by pressing Ctrl plus O and then enter. Finally, exit the editor by pressing Ctrl X. Your grub configuration is now updated with the secure password settings. Next, run the grub update command for these new settings to take effect. Reboot the system to confirm the new grub password protect configuration. I suggest first testing the configuration with a random username and password to ensure it's working correctly. You should see an access denied message. Then, test it with your configured username and password. Only this user should be able to boot and edit Grub's boot menu. You've now successfully secured your Grub bootloader with a password, adding an important layer of security to your Linux system. By doing this, you've prevented unauthorized access to sensitive boot parameters and restricted root level changes to only authorized users. Thank you for watching this tutorial. If you found it helpful, please like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more Linux tips and guides. See you in the next video.